Um, we're going to see more stuff on the new Kirby. We're probably going to see more stuff on Dragon Quest X. Maybe the Grinder. I don't know if actually Nintendo will have it at their E3, but we might hear something around then because that's still set out for like this upcoming October. Um, as well as, uh, we might hear, we're going to probably, I don't know if they're going to say nothing on Wii Play Motion. That's debatable. Um, the localizations, I expect, if, Z if, if Europe is getting Xenoblade and there's already like English voiceovers for it, it's going to probably be coming over here as well. And supposedly from what I heard from K-Wing when he found the news and I heard it somewhere else too, one of the voice actors said something about it coming to the U.S. So it's probably going to be true and we're probably going to hear something about it then. Uh, I expect, I still expect Last Story. If Xenoblade's coming, Last Story's coming. Um, Pandora's Tower, I expect to come here as well. And I would hope something about Earthseeker as well. Dynamic Slash, I don't know for sure about that, but at least Earthseeker maybe. But for, for sure, Xenoblade, Last Story, and Pandora's Tower we'll more likely see. And, and besides, and we'll probably see something on, here's something about Pikmin 3 maybe. And, I would guess uh, Nintendo's gonna have other franchises show too. I was originally gonna say you know Star Fox and F Zero, but supposedly I've been hearing stuff about that coming to like the Wii too. Although I still think there should be games coming out. I don't want them to skip a generation unless it's a launch title for the Wii too, or shortly thereafter. I want something for the Wii because I don't want to wait another three, four, five years for an F Zero or a Star Fox on a Nintendo console. I don't. I don't want to wait too much longer, especially F Zero. You guys know how much I love F Zero. I, I was wrong two E3s in a row. I hope something that this E3 is about F Zero. I was wrong in 2009. I was wrong in 2010. I hope something comes from this E3. I hope something comes from it. So Nintendo's going to bring out a few more other franchises. Maybe not big time ones, because unless we hear something about another Donkey Kong Country or something, I don't know. I do think they're going to have something else. For the 3DS, I would expect we're going to hear more stuff on Mario, that's guaranteed. Uh, I hope for an Advanced Wars 3DS and probably more stuff on Resident Evil Revelations and Kingdom Hearts 3D. Um, like I said, the DS, at least one game I expect is the localization of Fire Emblem. I don't think Nintendo's just going to abandon that. I don't think so, because that's like the only chance Americans really will get a chance, or anyone outside of Japan really get a chance to play that game. Um, besides that, it's like, not much. I mean, they're going to be showing games for all their systems. And of course they're going to be showing Project Cafe and games for that, like third party games. Um, and stuff like that. And even their games, they're gonna bring, I don't think they're going to show too... They're not gonna, I think they're going to close the show with it. They're not going to actually have, like, the entire, um, they're not going to spend a big amount of the show, I think, and they're not going to open the show with it, and they're not going to do it in the middle of the show. They're going to end it, I think. How I see it starting, they're going to start off with Skyward Sword just like they did last year. They're going to go to some Wii games some 3DS games, some DS games in the middle of all that, and, and they're going to end with Project Cafe, which is pretty much the more than likely, more than likely decision, more than likely way they're going to go about that. Um, the whole thing on the Wii 2 now, um, my thoughts on it, it's actually something quite interesting. I don't think, just like supposedly Miyamoto said in some kind of interview, I don't like, I, agree. I don't think everything they're saying about it is going to be true, though. There's some lies out there. And like he said in his interview, don't believe everything you hear. Um, I do like that idea for a touchscreen controller, though. Like, maybe, like, it comes with a little stylus and while you're playing. Like, what um, ECC we said about seeing, like, like items on the bottom of the screen. Like, like, and when you're playing Metal Gear Solid, like, the messages down there. You know, stuff like that. Um... That actually sounds quite interesting, but I hope they don't get rid of motion controls. I agree with ECC Wii. I agree with like, anyone who says this. I don't think they're gonna get rid of motion controls. How I see it is they're gonna keep. The, they're gonna have that traditional type control with a touchscreen, if it's true, which I'm sure it might be, and they're gonna do an improved Wii Remote, Wii Motion Plus. It's gonna be like Wii Motion Plus but improved, I think. And but the only thing is, Nintendo's not only gonna go 
hardcore. They're going to do like what, what they did with the Wii and what they did with GameCube and 64, Super Nintendo, everything. They're going to be casual and core. They're going to treat. They're going to go for everybody. I don't think. I mean, they're not going to totally abandon all the gamers they had from the Wii. And there's even though there's some people that own a Wii that are not going to jump to the next console, there's going to be people that are supposedly in the casual crowd. And they'll have to draw them in and draw new gamers in, keep their old time gamers like they've been doing, and stuff like that. It's not going to happen that way. Um, and that's really all this is. This is only pre E3 predictions. I'm probably going to do a more updated version when I hear more stuff, like like maybe right before E3, if I get a chance to with all the stuff going on in school and everything. Um, and that's just my little thoughts on Wii 2. I'm actually, I am looking forward to a new console. I'm just like I said before. I'm not highly anticipating it because I agree with Dark Cloud 1983, ECC Wii, game reviews, you know, Wii Lover and Nintendo and everything. Like all these other people that have been saying stuff on, you know, YouTube. I want more Wii games. I, I have a Wii downstairs. I have my red Wii I got for my birthday. That I can finally play upstairs now. When I finally unhook it. Um, I just want games to play on that. I don't, and I still have to get a 3DS. So that's another thing. But um, I'm not look. I'm not looking forward to the point where I'm, I'm forgetting about the console I currently have. I want to play Wii games, and I expect Wii games at E3. And, then, and there's no way Nintendo is just going to abandon that system like, like flat, like nothing, a barren wasteland or anything. It's not going to go down like that. And that's basically my thoughts on this video on the Wii 2. Um, my thoughts on what we've been hearing about it. My sort of an E3 prediction video. What people have been saying, what they expect at E3, and like the, supposedly the Wii's dying, which is not dead yet. And it's probably gonna still go on quite some time after the uh, Project Cafe comes out. It'll be like the PS2 when the PS3 was out. So it's still gonna have some games on it. Um, and that's basically just my little thoughts on it. This video has gone on longer than I was expecting. It's now going to try to be two parts now because the video is way too long for one video now. Um, hope you guys like this. I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. Put comments in the um, comment section if you agree with me or disagree with me. Give me your thoughts. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.